Hi there, everybody. Welcome along to another edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk with me, Emma Storey and Rhys James. Loads to get through today, few ins, few outs. We're obviously going to kick it off with the great news that we've had today that Vincent Janssen has finally signed for Tottenham, so is that the end of our search for a striker? We're also going to be talking about some guys we've been linked with, Mario Goetze over at Bayern Munich, also Jorginho Wijnaldum at Newcastle, and another Newcastle guy who sort of starred in the Euros, well, the final-ish, uh, Musa Sissoko. And we're also going to have a look at a couple of guys who might be on their way out, the likes of Ryan Mason, is he on his way out? And more importantly, Federico Fazio, could we finally be seeing the back of him? But let's kick it all off. Great news. We've got a striker. We've got a yes, striker. Yes, finally. finally. Great. Vincent, not Victor. Sorry, we had to keep hammering Craig for this, but I mean, he did get it really wrong last week. Vince. Vincent. Big Vince Janssen. 18.8 yep. million in the end, um, which was slightly more than we were looking to pay, but that's what Brexit gets you. Cheers. Um, so, officially confirmed this morning, this was filmed on Tuesday. How happy are you, Reese? that you finally got a striker? Quite happy. Only quite? Uh, yeah, I don't know enough about him. It's not like, <laughs> it doesn't feel like a marquee signing to me, but I'm happy we've got a striker uh, who had an amazing season last season. 27 league goals in 34 games. Excellent, that's, that's obviously an amazing record. Really impressive. It's not as competitive a league as the Premier League. Well, no. It is. But, but still, that's be... very promising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was the top scorer by quite a way, wasn't he? I believe so. Uh, also, didn't he only? Didn't they only pay three hundred fifty k for him? Yeah, or something like we're trying to. The, the AZ Alkmaar chairman kind of did a bit of a levy on us because they signed they signed Janssen last year. This time last year for three hundred and forty thousand pounds, give or take. And they've just sold him for 18.8 million. Now that yeah. is out leaving Levy, Fair in enough. my opinion. Fair play. Fair enough. Yeah, they did stitch us up a little bit. We paid well over what we wanted to. We did, but part of that was also down to good old Brexit and the pound collapsing against the but Euro, unfortunately. So it's just, unfortunately. Not much. it's just not that much for a striker these well, days, Well, this is, is the thing, isn't it? I think you have to put it all in context and say, yeah, we paid more than we wanted to, but actually in the grand scheme of things, we're still not paying that much. Yeah. For a guy who was the top scorer in his league, who was absolutely desperate to come to Spurs, this guy turned down PSG for us. And you yeah. think how much money PSG could have paid him? I know, which yeah, we are yeah. Not he, pay. It'll be interesting to see if he, brings the, if he makes Harry Kane even better. Yeah. Uh, if he is quality because he knows there's a lot of competition to get in the starting team, does he? Is he? Does he know he's going to be second fiddle? Well, he, surely he does. I, th I think he does. Or is he just thinking? <laughs> I'm relishing the opportunity yeah. to compete and try and get in that squad. I think he's from everything that we've heard about him over in the Netherlands. He is a very competitive guy. He is ready to kind of fight for his place, but he's also really versatile, which could help us out because he can play as the lone front man, so as a direct replacement for Harry. He can also play as the one behind of a front two, so he could play with Harry. And if all else fails, he can also play out on the wing, which uh, is is good to have somebody who can, you know, slot a into lot a lot of those, different places. Yeah, we got Son and Chadley reckons he can do all of those yeah, things. Yeah, but, but none of them are outright front men. No, they're guys. not. Yeah, at least he starts off as a front yeah. man. How tall so, is this guy? I don't Is he I tall? Is he, is he... Everyone's tall compared to me, so I'm no, no judge of that. He's pretty tall. <laughs> and he looked really happy. He looked really happy in his Spurs gear. With the signing, yeah, well, he's shirt. been trying to push you through for ages. He has been. He got really. He basically went on strike pretty much. He with did. He was like, just get it sorted out like now, because I want to be a white hot lane. He did I a Berahino and he, it worked. And five it worked. Foot five foot eleven. Uh, I would consider that tall as a five foot eleven man myself. Thank I would you. not consider it that tall. Over. It oh, well over average height for a man. Thank you very much. Well over. Is it like two inches over? That's not really well over, I believe, is it? I believe it's three <laughs> inches over. Thank you. Is it? Is that yes. what it is? That, I, I would In know this country, yes. Globally, <laughs> doesn't matter really. Do you think five foot eleven counts as tall? Do let us know in the yeah. comments below. Make Reese feel better about himself. <laughs> you know, Robbie Keane was five foot eleven, five foot ten, and I don't think. And any, everyone I always thought Robbie Keane was a, a little striker. Exactly. Damn it. Exactly. <laughs> okay, fine. But it, okay, so we've got a striker finally. Do we think now, in terms of striker business, that should probably be it now? Don't know. Two doesn't seem. It doesn't seem like that many, does it? They, we won't sign another one. But no. I'd like us to have three. But I don't know who, because it would have to be someone who is going to essentially go third. Yeah. And are you going to are you going to find any of them? Five foot nine. Five foot nine, Robbie Keane. Oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, there you go. You're back to being tall again. Fair enough. So you're back Five to being tall. is massive. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> How was all of Jermaine Defoe? Are find you... out. <laughs> five six. We're just going to go through all the heights five, of all six. our previous strikers. Berbatov. I want to know how tall he was. Six two. I'm going to guess. <laughs> I think we should move on from this. I think we should how tall is Harry Kane? Oh God. <laughs> six foot He's one. He's six foot one. I think. Six foot one. Yeah. Good lad. Yes. Taller than Reese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so five seven and a half. Five seven and a half. Yes. We're getting five. closer to my height oh, now. Fair enough. This I is good. Be smaller than that. 
Is this Tottenham Heights talk? <laughs> Apparently so. I don't know. You've got off on some <laughs> need to feel tall. So I've just, got, I've just rolled with it, basically. Talk, so I thought we'd talk about whoa, about don't, don't sell our transfer talk. Six, two and a half, <laughs> Berbatov. News just in. This is Barnaby, by the way. Two and a half, Berbatov. This is Barbie, Barnaby we've got off camera <laughs> who's slowly telling us all the heights of all the uh, Tottenham strikers. <laughs> 6-2! There you go! Ooh, fair six enough, two. Harry Kane! Oh, it's better than we all thought. So well therefore, well in the grand done. scheme of Tottenham strikers at the moment, you are not tall. That's no. what we've established now. No, but still above average height for so a man in this country. I feel... <laughs> okay, let it go. Let it go. Fine. Okay. Let's move on. So we've discussed strikers. We've discussed the fact we don't yep. think there'll be anyone else coming in. But if we go head to midfielders, go just a little bit behind, sure. it's a very kind of left field rumour doing the rounds at the moment. Mario Goetze. Not very tall. <laughs> Because that's Mario why Gertzer. we buy all our players. Short and chubby. Goetze, fallen out of favourite by Munich, um, really mm. wants a move, has been linked obviously to Liverpool to hook up with his old manager Jurgen Klopp, has been linked to us and also to Borussia Dortmund. It's a bit of a random one for us, I feel. Though not see that happening. It seems like more of a Liverpool signing than a Spurs signing, although yeah. well, I don't think it'll go there either. Uh, I can't see us paying, what's it going to be, 45 million, something like that for him. Yeah, I mean, it might be a little bit winner. less because they do want rid of him. Carlo they Ancelotti, do want rid of him, yeah. Carlo Ancelotti didn't really give him a ringing endorsement. Only one year left on his deal. Only one year left. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything in this day and age now, quite frankly, with the amount of the money going is, though, around we in the transfer window. We'll wouldn't. never pay 45 million, but Liverpool no. would. Well, yes. I thought they were paying for Mane. I was about to say they paid 34 million for Mane. They so. pay that. He's a World Cup winner. <laughs> um, but I mean, the, the issue I've got with Goethe, there's three things. The first thing is the transfer fee, which I think would be too high for us. The yeah. second is the wages, yeah. unless he's going to take a monumental Yeah, because what, what must he be on now? He must be on, it's be well, on over 100K. well over 100k. Well over 100k, and he's going to have to drop down massively because we're yeah. not going to make him the highest paid player at the club. And thirdly, I mean, where does he fit? Genu genuinely, yeah, he's, he a gr he's a good player, but I mean, we're going to say we're going to kick Harrison out in favour of mm. Goethe? Yeah, who's I had a terrible season? I don't massively rate Goetze, I never have. Even though he's, he's a World Cup winner and scored the winning goal? Yeah, but as a substitute, he just yeah. got on the end of a cross. I mean, <laughs> you can all do that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the way. <laughs> can we? Yes. <laughs> I think the way we're looking you at watch this. the next World Cup. <laughs> Reese will be there for exactly. Wales. Exactly. We'll see. <laughs> see what happens in the next two years, who's doing better. Oh, oh. All right, so you'll just pick your allegiance. Big time. Oh, Big time. nice. Nice. It's good to know. Reese, James, Welsh name. Yeah, Welsh name, born in England. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I think the, the upshot of this, Mario Goetze, not so much. No, I, I don't know. Don't doubt that'll happen. Um, it would be a kind of marquee signing, wouldn't it? be a statement signing, but uh, I, I don't know. What's the point I really in feel like it's. I don't really feel like Poch is bothered about statement signings. No, I don't think he is. And I mean, I've had this argument with Craig. If you watch Spurverts, Craig's gone on a bit of a rant about this kind of thing. I don't think, you know, for us, our first 11, was really good last season, as is all about getting some strength and depth and making some little tweaks. It's not about massive marquee statement signings, and I don't think no. Koch is interested in that. He's interested in people that are going to fit to the team. Yeah. And I actually think that's a good thing. Yeah. So I'd there, Craig, that's... who's sitting off camera somewhere. So there. It's a good th it is a good thing for the future, yes. You don't want a big ego coming in. Oh, not that he is necessarily a big ego. Ego? Ego. ego. <laughs> Mario Goetze. <laughs> but uh, I just, it doesn't feel right. I don't, I don't want him, Poch. All well, right. I don't, I don't think Poch wants him either. I think you're right. Yeah. Don't worry. Waste of money. Don't worry, it's fine. Well, let's move on to another. I mean, we have talked about attacking midfielder last week. We said that could be a good extra signing for us. Yeah. Jorginho Wijnaldum. I'm getting much better at saying his name now the more that I say it. Uh, at Newcastle, desperate to leave, has put I a think... plea into Newcastle to say, please let me go. Yeah, I said in the last one of these, I think he's a good player. Yeah. Uh, and I think he's the sort of player that once he gets in Poch's regime will be a lot better because they'll become harder working. His uh, attitude will improve. His attitude will improve and he'll have to chill out a little bit. And he'll also watch all the other players he's competing with and realise, oh, right, they really do put the effort in, put yeah. in a shift. So uh, I think he would be, I think he could be a good player. It'd be interesting to, yeah, he'd be like, a, I guess he'd be kind of a rotation player, wouldn't he? And then just like see who's in form. But he, I don't know, how much are we going to have to pay for him, do you think? Well, this is the, the argument, isn't it? We're going to come on to another Newcastle and the player in a minute who's had a ridiculous price tag put on his head. Um, Newcastle are obviously looking to make a bit of money, championship side, mm. need to you know keep the bucks coming in. Um, I mean, we kind of said, I think when we talked about him last week, that maybe around 15 million would be acceptable for him. Tops. Exactly. I mean, that's going to be the stumbling point just for a change. Yeah, I don't... Transfer fee. I don't know if that'll happen. But if he's... That is. I mean, the thing is, if he's very desperate to leave, though. Yeah, but there's probably, a, like, again, a Liverpool or someone will come in for him and... <laughs> Pay 30 million. So it's always Liverpool getting hammered, isn't it? Yeah. Always just... Liverpool. We laugh at Liverpool. 
They spend they spend too much money <laughs> on average players. <laughs> too much money. But I don't. I'd take one album as long as it was below fifteen million. I think around fifteen million. Yeah. I'd be happy. I think. I think, it I think be about it's good. To, it's good to have options. It's good to be able to change it up. And he did finish Newcastle top scorer last season, even though they obviously did get. But that was what eleven goals. Eleven goals, but that's what as many as Deli Ali scored. In yeah. the midfield last season, just you know, yeah. put it out there. It's good to have those options, and with the Champions League, you know, we need the extra, the extra cover. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah, we'd get especially yeah, to have more depth. Play Delhi uh, in the Champions League. Quality. Play George. Otherwise, we're gonna have to in play. The league. Yeah, we're gonna be playing Chadley a lot. Oh god. <laughs> oh, who's next? We need more signings. <laughs> okay, breathe, breathe. Well, listen, it's funny enough that we're talking about this position. Musa Sissoko. Yeah. Now here's a weird one. We apparently have been linked with him, as have Arsenal and as have Liverpool yet again. But here's the crazy thing. Newcastle have put a price tag on his head. Are we ready for this price tag? Bearing in mind he's had one good game at Euros and was terrible half, for Newcastle. Half a good game. All of last season. Guess how much they've put on his head? 20 mil. <laughs> 35. 35 okay. million pounds Newcastle want for Sissoko. Just let that sink in for a second. It's so stupid. That is so <laughs> ridiculous. That is literally based on he had a couple of good shots. He had a couple of good shots, made a couple, couple of, of good, good runs. runs in a final that he lost. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that was it. This he is had one good game before that as well. But I mean, you should not sign players off the back of an international tournament anyway, let alone where they've had half a good game off the back of an awful season. Yes. I this think he has got potential and he has little moments of being quality. And when he first signed for Newcastle, he was good for a few weeks. Weeks, but minutes. since then, he he cannot be bothered. His heart's not in it when he's playing at club level, especially for Newcastle, but whose would be? Uh, <laughs> it'd be a stupid signing. 35 million is ridiculous. I'd take him for 3 million and no more. Oh, yeah, 3 that's million. Right. As much 3 as that. mil. Is that one for every shot that he had yes. in the final? Yeah. yeah, that kind of works. We'll take him. 3 million. We'll take him off your hands. Apparently, his agent is furious about this whole price tag thing. But, you know, Why? Because he's, desper he's desperate for a move and he's yeah. going. This is and Newcastle are like, no, you're right, mate. You're he staying. He does seem like he'd fit in. That seemed like he'd fit in more with Arsenal than us, anyway. Ooh. And I'm happy for Arsenal to pay 35 million for Sissoko. Oh yeah, that's fine. They can go off and do their thing. I mean, yeah, yeah. French, he might fit in that whole French exactly. vibe going on there. Exactly. Possibly. Um, so that's who may or may not, or actually probably won't be coming in um, at the moment. Uh, we move to a couple of guys who may be on their way out. Now, we've spoken about this before. Ryan Mason, it's all gone a little bit quiet at the moment, but we still think that a move to Bournemouth is potentially the way it's going to happen before the end of the window. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm happy for him to go. Oh. We just got Victor. I know. He's, uh, he's a good lad, he's but that's our, not he's enough. He's one of our own. Yeah, but he's not, he's not going to play. He's not going to play enough. No. So there's no point. There's no point keeping him. We'll probably get eight to ten million for him. If In this market, they should need. push more. Yeah. Bournemouth like spending a bit of money at the moment. They've broken their transfer. Exactly. So we'll get some cash for him. We'll spend that cash on a third of Moussa Sissoko. <laughs> And we'll share win, with the, win the Champions League. <laughs> yes, exactly. He could be one of those players, 50-50 player. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult with Ryan, isn't it? Because we said this before, He a couple of seasons ago, he was a brilliant performer for us. Then mm. obviously Eric Dyer and Moussa Dembele came in and just kind of ran roughshod over it. And now he's kind of stuck out, had a big injury, sort of stuck out on the fringes. Yeah, he, I'm ready for him to go. He's the only current member of Craig Mitch's blacklist as well. Yes, which we didn't even know that he'd squeaked onto this blacklist. Yeah, <laughs> this is he silently brand new got information. Put onto the blacklist. <laughs> but apparently now he is on it, so I yeah, guess that's I'm a ready. To go. I'm ready for him to go. So we regardless think, right, of what a good, I think he'd do well at a, a Bournemouth. I or, think he would do really well at Bournemouth. I think it'd be good. It would be a good fit for him, mm. um, and it'd be nice to see him getting a consistent run in a Premier League team. So yeah, yeah, he can go. Okay, eight million plus, I'll take it. And there's one more on the list, which I think I I, I suspect I know how you're going to feel about this if I say this to you. Federico Fazio. See you later, mate. Get rid of us. <laughs> I didn't even have to say anything. Get out. I forgot you even played for us. I thought you'd gone. It was just a Well, he, he was on loan. And then they sent him back. God, didn't he win a trophy? He didn't win it, though. Yeah, but wasn't he He was in all the pictures yeah. with a trophy. Yeah. What, John, John Terry Styley. Celebrating Styli. on the pitch. John Terry Styley. Full God, kit. I wish he could do anything else, John Terry Styley. Oh, pathetic. Really? We, undeniably good player, <laughs> okay? Regardless of what we think of him, he's a, he was an undeniably good footballer. Was. 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 Yeah, awful man. <laughs> don't know what Fazio's like as a bloke. I'm sure he's pretty really nice. We only yeah, sign nice guys. It. He's tall. Get rid of him. Because he's taller than you. He's we're too tall. He's, he's too tall you. and bad at football. Poor Reese. And slow. Poor Reese. I feel like this the is the cause a... of so many 
goals against us. Is this like a small man syndrome angry no, for you? I'm above no, above average height. I've said that a number okay. of times. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just in case you weren't sure, he's above average height. By three inches. So, Fazio, just to bring it back. Get out, mate. Go. Looks like, or hopefully, I'll will take I'll take one mil for Fazio. Be on his way back to Spain. Uh, Kike Sanchez Flores, formerly of Watford, now in charge at Espanyol, apparently wants Fazio. I'm not sure why, because I'm sure he would have seen him last season and been like, eh. Mm. But ap apparently so. Because he, he knows he can, he can get him for cheap and yeah, he'd, be, he'd be fine. He'll be fine. But not good enough to play for Spurs. Although we do need a centre back if he does. Well, go. this was going to be my next question then. Do we then need to think about Definitely another one? Definitely do need to get a centre back, yes. 100%. Mm. I don't know who. <laughs> Maybe Van Dyke. I was about to say Van Dyke. Southampton started doing business, business with us again. Yeah. So why not just Can't go see back us and signing another Southampton player. This, I don't know. They, window, they, they seem quite happy to just let everybody leave. Mm. See, they, they, they let Graziano Pel Pella go to yeah, they did, yeah. China. They're so a selling club, unlike they are. Spurs. A traditionally non-selling club. We are club. not <laughs> a selling club anymore. Mm. Anymore. Except for Fazio and Ryan Mason. Yeah, but that's different. Because yeah. we want to sell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not in a Real madrid style situation yet. We're not. No, it's no, fine. It's fine. And all our players are terrible at the Euros, therefore no one's going to want them anyway, so yeah, we're all no good. price tags have gone up No, from our players. Thank God. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we are at the moment. Um, give us a like if you like the video. Um, if you have ideas about who you want us to be signing, or whether you'd like us to sign the likes of Wijnaldum or Sissoko, or would you think Gertz would be the one as a big marquee signing, um, let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and come on you spares. Hello and welcome to another episode of Spurverts. I am here with Craig Mitch as per. This week we're going to be talking about Vincent, not Victor, Vincent Janssen <laughs> officially signing for Tottenham Hotspur. 